Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com again. Today we're going to take a look at both Glary Soft Trax Eraser and Disc Cleaner. A couple of alternatives to the all the many drive cleaners out there. We just wanted to show you before we got started that it does offer to install Glary Utilities. It's not a horrible thing, it's a good program, but if you just wanted Trax Eraser or Disc Cleaner, you want to uncheck that in both places. So, pretty simple. And it will be named Track Eraser TE Setup Disc Cleaner DC Setup. There we go. So we can finish it. And we'll start out with Disc Cleaner because a lot of people are looking for C Cleaner alternatives, etc. nowadays. And as you can see, let's finish that one too. As you can see, they offer a pro version as everybody does nowadays. And there is your total clean. This is a fairly clean install of Windows. I've got a couple of programs on here I've installed, but relatively clean install. So we're not going to find a lot of files right now. You can quite simply rescan, uncheck anything you want in here. As you can see, it's checking for my browser. It has a list of applications. Once again, you will probably have more applications because this is a slim install of Windows. As you can see, it's quite aware of the most popular programs out there and then some. So once you've taken a look and seen what you want to do, if you want to get old prefetched data, for example, that's kind of a questionable one. Downloaded programs, neat. Windows update files, Windows up, you know, installer. Once you've done it the one time, go take a minute to go through at least most of the Windows stuff, maybe your browser stuff, maybe you want to keep a certain files. And once you've done it and gone through it one time, you're good to go. Start cleaning, stop if you need to and really that's about it the disc cleaner is relatively simple unlike some of the competition it's just a disc cleaner it doesn't come with additional tools which is why they offer uh, glary utilities and don't forget you can check all check none check default and even add in custom files and folders here so as a disc cleaner it works very very well but that is basically what it is it's a disc cleaner so that is it we're done with disc cleaner it's very simple to use very good solution for those of you looking to just simply clean up some files once in a while quickly. Now let's see if we can take a look at Trax Eraser, which I'd like to see them combine the two programs. Um, Trax Eraser, as you can see, is more looking for privacy issues more than it is, you know, privacy and security more than it's looking for temporary files. So. It's got what it thinks are privacy problems, and it's unchecked a lot of stuff here. Uh, URL, you got to be careful, of course. You don't want to necessarily lose your URL history and stuff like that. But you can always, exactly like the drive cleaner, check all, check none, check default. And again, we remain very, very simple. Its goal is to look more into privacy. So I guess I can't keep saying that over and over again. As you can see, very very simple to use both the programs are similar I'd love to see them merge the two of them together because it's just getting rid of log files I don't know what that is some of the stuff doesn't fit because when you get into registry stuff you can't necessarily see it so just widen the program here and let's see if we can see it now dat files temp files so you just hit erase checked it's it's relatively safe and conservative if you're not sure just leave it alone same with the uh, same with the other program. So whether it's Trax Eraser or Disc Cleaner and you just want to get the job done, there you go. But again, the Trax Eraser goes a little different where it goes into the registry, as you can see, and the two of them combined work very well together. If you like them, try one of them. If you like them, try the entire utility suite. It's very similar to, uh, let's say, IOBit or advanced system care something like that the all-in-one suites and that's what it is and people really do seem to like it and there you go pretty simple to use it's just more not so much a tutorial as an introduction to the two programs if you were thinking about using them sometimes a boring description and a couple of screenshots aren't enough but as you can see it's as simple as it looks so and don't forget both of them have this while I'm scrolling all over the place with my mouse the ignore list manager so it's relatively simple to use anything it was ignored you can uncheck it if it shows up here or leave it alone but once again the program works pretty well by itself so history there you go and that's it there is glary's track eraser and glary disc cleaner together they work pretty well at cleaning up system junk files and uh, give one a try see if you like it. if you do go for the whole suite and as always we made it under the five minute window click subscribe thanks for watching see you next time